Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You in Cartier World today. We got another reaction video, bro. I'm going to need y'all to like, comment, sub, man. Like, comment, sub up. Do y'all thing, bro. Run them numbers up, bro. Need them numbers up. Y'all been showing love, doing y'all thing, man. We just got to keep going, man. Back to back. We on a mission, bro. We need 5,000 subs, man. Could we get the 5K subs? But today... We got Gene Deal exposes Diddy status as confidential informant. Says feds allowed him to commit crimes. Sheesh. Hey, man. That, that sound about accurate. I ain't gonna lie. It has been rumored that Diddy was a CI, at least a former CI for a case. And that would mean that he would be allowed to commit crime in order to do his job with the justice system, man. But uh, we're going to see what his ex-security guard got to say about it. So I want to backtrack, right? I want to backtrack to a comment you made earlier about Diddy and how, you know, over the years, he's been having all these run-ins with the police. Do you think the feds took notice of that? And they, you know, at this point, they like, yo, we're going to crack down on Diddy? What happens is, is that the police will bring in a CI and will use him mm. like she was a... Three dollar hoe. <laughs> that nigga said we played him like he was on fig. Did the feds use Diddy like he was a broad on flit on fig? Was he on the blade for the feds, homie? And now they done turned this back on him. That's a confidential informant. They'll let you do crimes as long as you don't do no murders and stuff like that. They'll let you go around and pay you. Mm. When I was in law enforcement, dog, they paid confidential informants $250 for revolvers, mm. $500 for automatic weapons, $750 to $1,500 mm. for uh, semi-automatic guns and rifles and machine guns and stuff like that. Some confidential informants got payment like that. And plus, they get 8% of a case. 8% mm. of a case. So if they bring in about, just say, they bring in a case, $100,000. Mm. That's 8000 what's that? What's that? $8,000. That's 8000 They bring in a million-dollar case. A million dollar case, that person is getting eighty thousand mm. dollars. Don't mean like eighty thousand dollars on it. I think I think if you're talking about eight percent. You know what I mean? So I'm saying that to say this. Confidential forms get paid good. Mm. But damn, imagine how many rats, how many informants, them niggas back in the day pulled up with Tommy guns, machine guns, revolvers. And they getting paid 80 racks? Niggas making an 80 piece? That's crazy. That's, hey, man, that's better than a lot of niggas' regular jobs. They like, damn, do I make this money or do I go work at this Target? Shit. That's crazy, though, man. Diddy, Diddy, I mean, I don't think he was doing it for the money. He probably really got blackballed into doing it because they got so much shit on him. They like, look, nigga, you finna be a current uh, uh, informant, or else you going to prison, nigga. Puff was a millionaire. Him being a confidential informant, him getting money like that, it was favors. Mm. He been getting favors and been paying law enforcement people for years. To protect him, you understand? To protect him, we had a lot of people on the payroll when we was doing security. Everybody had, somebody might have this, this first 10 hours, that 10 hours, or whatever. He was paying law enforcement. He had a budget for law enforcement. Now, if something goes wrong, those people got friends in certain places then, plus, he tells his handler, yo, 
Can you make this go away for me? <laughs> oh, man. That's the coldest line ever. Yo, can you make this go away for me? That's a powerful nigga. If, if somebody approach you like that, or you approach a nigga like that, man, you in a, a total different mindset, bro. That's cr Can you make this go away? Boy, you done got yourself into some shit. You talking like that. I'll give you this and that. Now, that could be a lot of speculations or whatever like that. But why would you have or be working for a FBI agent if you're not an informant? Mm. Why? Yeah. So when you got that kind of money, you can hire people to make a lot of things go away for you. Mm. Like you hire lawyers. Those lawyers have police officers and people working for them. Damn. Hold on. He talking high power right now, for real. Yo, favorite lawyer probably got law enforcement on payroll. D, uh, man, all types of judges, DAs, nigga. Damn. The whole shit crooked. Hey, is that how they beating them cases? They like, nigga, I need a court. You want to beat this murder? I, you going to have to give me a quarter milli to start. Might cost you quarter milli to 500 to beat this murder, depending on where you at. In California, and how high profile the case is. Yeah, let's let, you know, you're going to need 200,000, 300. Those investigators were former officers. So all of them in the backyard and diddy bed together. Oh, Paul. So what you think happened if he was an informant? Like, what made him turn on him? Like I said, some people could retire. His name is too much in the news. Like, listen here, bro. They don't want you to be always in the news in a negative form. Mm -hmm. There's people that's probably worse than Diddy, but they not always in the news in a negative form. And then, like I said before, when he went against one of the world's biggest distributors of alcohol and spirits. Mm. They put out a campaign against him. They called their friends. They made him look real bad in the media. Mm. Facts. And a lot of that shit didn't go away, bro. It just compelled, compiled, compiled, compiled. And now with Cassie with her stuff, that Jonathan Odie, Lil Rob, and the four <laughs> other people that filed cases. I think he got like three to four other cases that's filed against him. Golly. That they trying to work out instead of going into court. Hey, man, this shit crazy, bro. Yeah, bro, we know Diddy was a CI, nigga. He's, man, hey, this probably what was, took so long for his downfall because he was really working with the laws. He pissed the wrong person off. They done turned on him, man. Shame on you, Diddy. If, if all this is, man, how you got seven cases against you all for, for that freak of the year shit, sex trafficking? That's, man, shame on you, Diddy. Man, sheesh. Y'all let me know what y'all think in them comments, bro. It's Cartier. You a Cartier wolf.